G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for another weekly free instant tournament coming to you from Chicago. So to get in, you want to go solitaire, and then weekly free instant tournament, and uh, you can give it a shot. So board number one, we have 20 points pass pass to us. This is a balanced hand. I'm not worried about uh, my two low clubs or having five spades. Um, here, partner statement and three spades just shows four, but we found a nine card fit. Okay, partner's got a four triple three. They still chose to statement, interestingly, um, which I guess everyone's getting to four spades no matter what. We probably don't have a spade loser. We've got one heart loser, one club loser, one diamond loser. Looks like we want to finesse a heart. Looks like we want to finesse a diamond. But I'm just going to start by ducking one. We might be able to set it up so that we can end play the opponents a bit. Oop, diamond shift, good start. Uh, but what I was thinking is if they uh, didn't switch to a diamond, maybe we uh, could um, rough out the clubs and, you know, if something went right, there was probably no uh, end play, but uh, just sort of general technique here. So it looks like I'm going to finesse the uh, heart, unless I get information otherwise. Don't really see any reason why I wouldn't finesse here, so um, let's give it a shot. Okay, that's offside. Doesn't look like there's anything that we could do there. Um, so I reckon this is a very flat board. No, we got 71%. Ah, some people went to six spades, yes. So you open a spade and, uh, oh, they opened two clubs. Well, that would do it. But uh, just showing a balanced 20 count seemed pretty appropriate. Uh, here we have, what's that, 10... 23 points. So two no trumps is 20, 21. To show 23, uh, uh, we open two clubs to start with. Partners bid two spades positive. Now, usually you'd bid two no trumps here, um, but because partners actually shown a positive, and we've got four key cards, let's bid three spades. I actually like this hand. So four hearts, Q bid. And the robots do first round control, so that should actually be a void. Um, but uh, let's bid key card. Yep, there's their void. And they have one key card. Uh, uh, unfortunately, them showing their void didn't really help. Um, we have all the key cards. Partner's got king, queen, well, actually, oh, positive, so they've got the queen of spades, so king, queen to five spades at least. If I got the king of diamonds, uh, then would be in a relatively decent shot. Um, but I'm not sure that we can do that. I'm actually thinking of just bidding six no here. Not like I'm not worried about the heart void. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll, we'll do that. At match points, I really strive to try and uh, bid no trumps where possible. Now the diamond leads good. Um, looks like we just want to set up the clubs. I'm missing queen, ten, nine, fourth. And uh, let's just lay down the ace and see what see what we see. There's the nine. Um, yep. There's the queen. So we have all of them. 85%. Yeah, so no one bid Grand Slam here. Um, Grand Slam is a very poor contract that makes. Uh, but just getting to no trumps gets us 85. So at match points thinking, is there a reason that I need to be playing in the suit contract rather than in no trumps? And here, yeah, partner had a void heart, but no real reason to actually play there. Um, what have we got? 16, 17 balanced. So one no trump. All pass. Okay, we get a diamond lead. Partner's got five points opposite my 17, uh, which is 22. And that's 18 points missing. We started with a diamond lead, which is relatively nice for us. Um, that could be away from the queen. It could be away from the 10. Um, I usually like the lower finesse first. If 
I've got nothing to go on, but also the robots tend to prefer passive leads. Uh, so they prefer, like, not leading away from the queen. So I'm going to finesse the 10 for starters. Um, but the jack wouldn't be unreasonable. Um, and then I want to try and build tricks in clubs. So here, also worth noting, the two of diamonds means that diamonds are four... Like, they've probably got a four-card diamond suit, not five. So they're four, two. Um... Okay, so let's start with a low club. Okay, and the queen's uh, set up there. Okay, well, the finesse worked once. Let's see how it does. Okay, and the doubleton queen appears. So I've now got two entries to double finesse the heart. So I'm actually going to use my jack of diamonds straight away. And just lead a low heart there. And they put up the king, so it's pretty likely that they've got the queen. Um, yep, okay, we get that. So, uh, let's see if my heart's good. Though, actually, uh, like the nine of hearts is good. We're missing one top spade, so. Uh, I could always just play a spade here, and we've got all but one of the tricks. Uh, if the clubs come in, we've got all but one of the tricks. If the hearts come in, we've got all but one of the tricks. Um, or if we can squeeze the opponent. If one of those comes in, maybe we can squeeze them. I think just setting up the uh, extra tricks is probably the safest way about doing it. Um, but m there was some chances there. Heart discard. Hearts didn't break. Clubs did. Don't think there was a squeeze available, but 85%. Okay. And here we've got 10, 14 high card points. Pass, pass a club. And this is a really awkward one. Um, so choices here. The textbook bid is pass. You could think about a cheeky one no trump bid. We've got some decent intermediates here. I don't really like double because uh, if partner bids hearts, I don't have a good follow-up. So I'm really weighing up between pass, the textbook bid, or just bidding a no trump because, hey, I've got some decent intermediates and maybe my hand's actually worth it. Um, but partner's a pass hand. I'll, I'll just pass from here. And we're defending a no trump now. So west has hearts and a one no trump response. East has clubs and spades. And partner starts with a diamond lead. Beautiful work, partner. Two of diamonds uh, means I've probably got three or four. Now, uh, I could win the ace and just duck a diamond next. I could win the ace and maybe return the jack to try and create an entry for partner. Or I could just duck the opening lead here. Um, My partner presumably has four hearts, because West has at least four hearts. Um, there's nothing I really want to do. Like, I could win Ace of Diamonds, return a diamond. Um, or I could just duck the opening lead. They look pretty similar. I'll just win it just to clarify for partner that, yep, diamonds are actually good. So if I knew my partner had four diamonds definitively, I would have put in like the jack or ten to get them on lead because I don't particularly want to be on lead here. Uh, but the robots do like leading from three card suits, so uh, that's why I was a bit hesitant. But here it would have worked out pretty well. Okay. Um, this is like an interesting spot. The previous trick, uh, partner played the nine and then they played the six. If you're playing with a person, they could actually be giving you suit preference there to say, hey, I like uh, the higher suit there, or hey, I like the lower suit. Now, here, West also discarded a spade. Um, I've discarded spades from both hands. Dummy had four spades. Uh, but if the spades were, were really a weakness, I wouldn't think that they would uh, just discard it. Um, so I actually think clubs might be a better bet and that they need their protection in clubs. So I think West maybe has the Ace of Spades and uh, like the Queen of Hearts. Um, so I'm going to try a club, but 
Here, uh, partner's signals could have suggested a spade. Jack of clubs. Okay, so spade, my spade 10 is high. There's one more club. There's four, I had three. Partner's shown up with three at least, but partner also has another club. Uh, they have the 10 almost certainly, because uh, from ace jack third, if West had 10 third, they would have covered there. So partner's also got the 10 of clubs. So let's throw the king of clubs there. And we win our 10 of spades. So a tricky one there to actually beat it, but 57%. Uh, uh, some people did bid a no trump, and that worked really well for them. You can get um, they lead a club, so if they let a heart, just makes. So plus one hundred should be a good score. If they led their long suit, then um, that'll be good. Moving on to board number five, and we have fourteen high card points. Two, four, five, two. Uh, I usually upgrade lots of fourteens so that. Vulnerable against not, with king-queen double turn, no aces. I'm just going to open a diamond here. I find a heart fit. I'm pretty happy trading a 5-4-2-2 two, two as a, um, uh, a balanced hand, but uh, didn't quite think this one was strong enough. Yeah, three clubs is just a game try, and I kind of have a maximum, but for the same reasons that I didn't like it before, I still don't like king-queen of spades, so I'm actually just going to sign off saying... Eh, not really that interested. So very conservative here. And partner's only got eight points, so I'm very happy to see that. Uh, four hearts would have no play. I think planning from my hand's the easiest. We have one spade loser, two diamonds, and we have to navigate the hearts. And um, entries to my hand are probably pretty good. Uh, so I'll keep the uh, king of clubs, and we'll just lay the diamond. Okay. So here I, I started on diamonds first, because if you draw trumps, it felt like I might run into a little bit of trump issues. Um, but also, even if they roughed here, um, that might remove my uh, trump loser there. Um, so if anyone's got four hearts, East had three spades, they led the ace of spades, then switched to a club, so they've probably got length, so if anyone's got long trumps, it's West, so let's lead king of hearts, and we'll play a heart towards the ten, but they put in the jack, and we've got uh, all but one here, so 75%. Someone managed the over extra trick. A few people in four hearts, but pretty pretty glad I took the low road there. Partner was quite aggressive with that balanced eight count, but they had two aces, which I like. So um, here we got a 16 count, 5-5 five, five in the red. So we could do something like bidding two no trumps. It's not clear how it would follow up after that. Like, what do you do if partner bids three diamonds? Um, so I might just overcall my suits. We'll start with one heart. Three clubs, mixed rays. Okay, I'm happy to play four hearts. Ooh, good hand, partner. I have a diamond loser, a spade loser, and two clubs. I want to trump my two clubs. I want to see if I can sneak a spade to the queen, but uh, we'll do that later. So, so we'll lead a heart. And let's just draw the other trump. And here we'll, we'll rough. And they should hop up with the ace if they had it, but uh, no, nice. So uh, we have the rest of the tricks. However, we also have the beer card here. So. Uh, it should be a fantastic, but they had a singleton diamond as well. Right, so he snuck the spade 
and we get the beer card. Beautiful way to continue this. So, uh, 12 tricks here. 96% with the beer card. Gotta love it. Beautiful. Here, uh, they should know that um, I had a singleton, but I guess they didn't know I had singleton queen. Um, hard to guess now, but um, surprised they didn't hop up. But, uh, one diamond here, partner bit of no trump. Uh, I've got five diamonds, four clubs. Partner very often has a club suit here, so just go ahead and bid two clubs. And we've got a nine card fit. Um, partner's the long trump hand. We might have a club loser. We've got two spade losers, but one of them can be trumped. We've got two heart losers. Maybe we can lead up to the king. We've got a diamond loser, but we can finesse and hope it's short. And we might be able to set up the uh, long diamonds here. So if the diamonds do set up, we might be able to discard something. So uh, we will hop up with the S straight away. And do I want to play a diamond to the queen now? It's reasonable. Um, but I'll draw trumps. Uh, I can always play like the three of clubs to my hand. So I'll keep the three of clubs. Uh, safe. Queen drops. Okay. And just ace of diamonds. Does the king of diamonds drop? And doesn't look like it. The ten did, so I could have run the jack. That would have been successful there. So they get their top heart. And they get their spade. Uh, I think this one will probably be a poor score. Um, Although, you get five clubs, a spade, a heart, a diamond. Two diamonds? I think you can make nine tricks. In no, like, you can make more tricks in no trumps, but... Yeah, 46%. Uh, if I ran the jack of diamonds, it would have been good. Passing one no trump worked out fine, but... Uh, if you don't guess well, then one no trump's not particularly good. Um... But everything's so nice on this hand that one no trump plays fine. But we are still tracking at 74%, one board to go. And we've got 16 count, uh, but we've got a five card major, so I'll open that. And now do I want to invite game? So let's say partner had the ace king of spades. I uh, would still have two heart losers, a club loser would have to navigate the diamonds. Um, we could make game, but partner didn't drury. Um, we'll, we'll pass. Three clubs. I don't want, do I want to double them? Or do I want to bid on? Or do I want to pass? Um, I, I suppose I could bid three diamonds here. This is like a mild game try. Um, partner didn't double three clubs. I had a pretty good hand for doubling three clubs. But I guess, like, I've got two tricks for me. It's, it's not that good. They would know, usually want a fourth club. Um, and they might still make three clubs if that's a singleton diamond. Um, but that being said, I can throw a heart away. Probably want to do that pretty tr quickly, but if that's a six card club suit I've got, might be a bit iffy. No, I've got five to the nine or something. Whew. Okay. Well, let's continue with the spade. I should have considered just ducking a spade out, right? It's not unreasonable, because if that, that was a singleton, then um, I want to do that. Okay. And if... Yeah, okay, so spades are fine. Wow, diamonds are 3-3 three, three as well. How good's that? Everything's so friendly that I'm actually making my contract with another beer card. Oh, wow. Beautiful way to finish. So, 85% uh, to finish there. Uh, so, we finished with 75% all up. Uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this week's tournament. Thanks all for watching, and we'll see you next time.